today we'll uh, get to know about the important uh, fibonacci retracement and uh, extension tools that are available uh, for trading analysis so basically what we are talking about is that elliot wave is used to project the uh, impulse wave and the corrective waves okay and during that uptrend or downtrend trend that impulse wo kitna retracement karegi aur retrace karne ke baad kitna jump karke hoti hai that is something that is projected with fibonacci retracements and fibonacci extension so the beauty of this uh, fib retracement is that you can apply this to any stock on any time frame what we saw previously was bank nifty on a uh, almost a daily time frame and we saw uh, bajaj finance on a daily time frame now we are trying to see it in a uh intraday time frame so you, you, first thing how do you trade this right you establish your uh, uh, major trade so the usual problem that people have is how to how to identify swing highs and swing lows uh for that we have a indicator called zigzag so if you do this repeatedly that forms your uh, uh, elliot wave if you can subdivide your uh, impulse wave into multiple small waves right this is what you will see so these three point the projection tools request three points So the interesting part is that we can use these tools on your option charts directly as well. If you are a scalper, right? If you know all these levels, you can do some quick scalp. So based on what you are doing, if you are a seller, you if you are a intraday player, if you are a scalper, if you are a positional seller, based on that you will have to choose your time frame and choose your trade duration accordingly. For a target around first target is around one, second target is around one point six one. So today being a sideways day, uh, it was just very choppy. So, if it was a trending day, you could have uh, uh, had a nice price action, and you could easily trail your uh, uh, option and uh, go all the way up. Hi guys, uh, today we are going to have our podcast on Fibonacci retracements with Shri Hari. We have already had a session on Elliott Wave, uh, one with Mr. Rohit Shrivastava and one with Mr. Dinesh Nagpal. Fibonacci retracement, uni sessions ki ek tarike ki aage ki. Uh, एक्सटेंशन मानी जाती है ठीक है इट गोज हैंड इन हैंड एंड दैट इज वाई इलेट वेव करने के बाद एक नेचुरल सी चीज थी कि मुझे फिबोनाची रिप्लेसमेंट का भी एक सेशन करना था एंड दैट इज वाई श्रीहरी इज विद अस ही इज सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर इवॉल्विंग इनटू अ गुड ट्रेडर हैज बीन ट्रेडिंग फॉर क्वाइट लॉन्ग टाइम नाउ सो लेट्स हियर इट फ्रॉम श्रीहरी सो वेलकम श्रीहरी लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अवर सेशन फॉर टुडे या हाय रोहित इट्स बीन I've been following your uh, work and videos and all that. It's great to be part of your uh, series. And uh, today we'll uh, get to know about the important uh, Fibonacci retracement and uh, extension tools that are available uh, for trading analysis. Right. So we'll straightly get into the uh, topic of the day. So I've uh, titled it uh, Fibonacci Simplified. We'll see how to use this uh, uh, Fibonacci tools. in a simplified manner and uh, we'll also learn how to use it in intraday trading and we'll see some examples in the uh, uh, daily uh, options uh, charts on uh, the uh, most popular in the indices okay we'll just get uh, straight into the topic to start with right the, we know that market moves in waves right uh, uh, the um, uh, the moment of the market can be uh, turned in terms of uh, impulse wave and a corrective wave impulse wave is in the direction of the trend and corrective wave is usually in the direction against the trend okay so in this presentation we'll learn how to track the market by using two powerful tools fibonacci retracements and fibonacci extensions the first thing that we'll see is fibonacci retracement this is a technique used to identify potential support and resistance levels based on fibonacci ratios right before going to that uh we should know what fibonacci numbers are right uh it's a basic uh, uh knowledge right the fibonacci numbers are derived by adding the previous number to the current number and it's it goes on in a series fibonacci ratios are obtained by di- dividing these numbers uh with the previous number so uh, we'll see the numbers and ratios in the coming slides but uh, uh, fibonacci is a naturally occurring sequence and it's widely uh seen in in it's it's widely seen everywhere in nature so and uh, the market also respects these numbers and uh, these are very important uh, tools to understand how the market uh, moves uh, fibonacci uh, retracement helps you 
understand the potential support and resistance levels based on the Fibonacci ratios. The extensions tool will help you identify the price projections whenever a Fibonacci uh, level is hit and uh, uh, next wave starts, right? How far the next wave can go? That is, uh, that can be determined using the Fibonacci extensions. So the Fibonacci based analysis forms the foundation of uh, advanced uh, analysis techniques like Elliott wave theory and harmonic patterns. So understanding Fibonacci is the first step in uh, getting far ahead to uh, crack the uh, market in terms of understanding Elliott wave or harmonic patterns and other uh, advanced technical analysis. So I'm going to the next slide. We'll uh, quickly understand what a market structure is, right? So um, market structure can be defined as a series of waves, right? When multiple waves form together to form a pattern, right? Uh, we get a uh, we get this Dow theory, higher highs, higher lows, and the lower highs, lower lows. That formation is usually the market structure that one should be aware of, right? So uh, up move in an uptrend, the first leg that takes the market higher is usually the impulse wave, and there is a pullback, right? The pullback is usually because of uh, a quick profit booking, right? Or uh, uh, some new sellers coming in, right? So that is the corrective wave part. The second leg after the correction has uh, ended is the continuation of the impulse wave. So an uptrend is defined by a first impulse wave that takes the prices higher and a corrective wave that brings the prices lower. This is the uptrend. On the downtrend, right, it is the reverse. The impulse wave is the one that brings the prices down on the first leg. And the prices go up where people book their profit and close their short position and uh, the prices uh, reverse and new uh, sellers are coming in at a critical point and then the impulse wave starts again. So in a downtrend, the first leg of fall is the impulse wave and the corrective wave is the one that uh, 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 takes the prices a bit higher and then the fall continues again. So this is the basic market structure. Here you will you will be able to see a uh, higher high formation and a higher low formation in the uptrend. Similarly, on the downtrend, you will be able to see a lower high formation and a lower low formation on the downtrend. Right. So, where does Fibonacci come in? Fibonacci retracements will help you identify how deep the uh, corrective waves uh, corrections can happen. Right. And Fibonacci extensions will help you identify how far the next impulse wave can move. And th this is the projection, price projection that will uh, help us identify the potential targets if the trend continues in the uh, direction of the impulse. So that's what uh, this slide talks about. This is the next slide. Fibonacci retracement. Fibonacci retracement helps you identify support and resistances. These levels help traders identify potential areas of support during uptrends or resistances during downtrends. The commonly used ratios. Uh, the commonly used ratios are uh, 0.382, 0.5 and 0.618. Uh, these are important retracement levels. We'll see in the charts on how to draw this Fibonacci retracement and uh, what these levels are. Okay. And usually these levels uh, naturally coincide with the support and resistance level. If there is a demand zone or a supply zone, or if there is a trend line coming, or any other uh, uh, natural uh, analytics, right? That comes in that will usually coincide with these levels. And uh, during an uptrend or a downtrend, price often retraces the portion of the previous move before assuming its trend. Fibonacci retracement helps provide guidelines for anticipating the extent of these retracement. So as we uh, talked, right, uh, impulse wave, after it is complete, a corrective wave starts. How far the corrective wave can come, that we can identify with Fibonacci retracement. In the next set of slides, right, we will see some examples from the past. And uh, we will also see how to draw these. So basically what we are talking about is that Elliott wave is used to project the uh, impulse wave and the corrective waves. Okay? And during that uptrend or downtrend trend, that impulse, wo kitna retracement karegi, or retrace karne ke baad, kitna jump karke hoti hai, that is something that is projected with Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci extension. Kitna niche karegi, or kitna upar jane ke chances hai uske. So Correct. let's say let's say agar hum log ek classical classical pattern theory ke andar agar hum log baat karte hain we generally consider that uh, the previous high 
is the target theek hai at least it is the target if it breaks yeah. above it price can go above uh, more higher than that theek hai but we don't yeah. know how much higher so you are saying that fibonacci extension helps us decide that how much higher it can go after breaking an all time high correct exactly okay. yeah, that's what we will see in the next slide okay okay so we'll see whatever you talked about right fibonacci retracement of trend here i have shown you a small uh, uh, diagram where there is an uptrend i have marked levels 0 0.236 0.382 0.5 and 0.618 right so 0.382 0.236 right or uh, important uh, uh, retracement zone if you see the blue line right blue line is the uptrend and uh, we mark the swing low and the swing high of this uptrend and we see a reversal and the corrective wave comes right if the corrective wave comes from the point 0 till to point 236 point 382 right that means the trend is super strong if the retracement if they you, you see a reversal around point 236 and point 382 it means the bullish momentum in this script is very high it is possible possible that it can retrace from these levels if you are working with a super bullish stock or the uh, there is a, a rally happening in some the retracement can happen from 0.236 and 0.32 so a normal pullback will usually come till 0.5 to 0.618 these are normal pullbacks right these are essentially ideal levels for the retracement to come here so we are now talking only about retracements we have a, a impulse move and the price is correcting how far the prices can correct the prices can correct till 0.5 and 0.618 these are ideal positions uh, i mean ideal levels where you can re enter for the next up move okay if you are uh, uh, if you are trading in the corrective wave if you want to short this price right the better better position is to identify a reversal around your top right and uh, take a short position and ride till Uh, 0.236 that will definitely be your first target and it can go till 0.38 and if the script is normal in it, it you are thinking it's not super bullish right you can see it coming to 0.5 and 0.68 we'll see this in uh, uh, actual charts okay this is on the uptrend now we'll see the same thing on the downtrend as well so this is the same picture but in the downtrend we have a impulse wave coming down and a corrective wave taking the prices up a normal correct uh, corrective wave in the downtrend will take the prices till the 0.5 to 0.618 so this is an ideal place where you can take your, your next short position right and uh, if you are shorting it here right here uh, the next impulse wave will give you the projection of the uh, that will be seen in your uh, fibonacci extension that will come to later so if the bullish if the bearish momentum is strong right you can see a reversal from 0.382 levels as well and the uh, ideal reversal point is the 0.5 to 0.618 so see the 0.618 okay. is called the golden ratio usually yeah in any question rohit oh just one thing i know that the wave 1 2 3 4 5 is associated with an uptrend and corrective waves are a b and c because we had before see, we had your area wave. that's a little bit we yeah, are not talking about yeah, yeah i i know we are not talking about that thing but uh, just a general question here theek okay? hai when the market is in downtrend uh, is it always going to be um, abc in correction or it can be 1 2 3 4 5 in correction too see see elliot wave says that because, wave because can some can be divided why, into why i am waves, asking right? this question is because why i am asking this question is because uh, before people see this fibonacci retracement and fibonacci extension video i must tell you that people have seen uh, uh, two uh, sessions of elliot wave theek uh, hai by by some great uh, chartists and uh, that is why i am keeping uh, i specifically invited you because I know Elliott wave and Fibonacci extension and retracement goes hand in hand, so I wanted them to cover the basics first, so that you can uh, bring in with the next part of that thing. So that is why. So that is one question I forgot to ask in the last session that that one, two, three, four, five pattern happens in the downtrend also or not? See, I, ideally it should happen. Uh, we'll see live examples of that. See, one okay. thing is that 
uh, if you say one, two, three, four, five, right? What we are talking is that how far the first wave's retracement will happen. That's the single point that we are discussing here. We are okay. not discussing the entire uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five ABC here. We are just discussing how far one can retrace back and how far after the corrective wave comes, there's two wave will go. Uh, I mean, two to three wave will uh, hit. That's the point that we are trying to cover. And uh, so the other thing to note is that, uh, le let's say, right, we'll go back, we'll take this downturn, okay? Now we have this uh, impulse wave that is coming down, right? And it is retracing till 0.5, right? And then the next impulse starts. If the price is not breaking the previous low, which is the zero point here, right? And it forms a reversal pattern and moves upside, right? That will be a double bottom formation, okay? This could be your end of one, two, three, four, five, and this could be your ABC in the view. Understand, right? Okay. You get that point? Yeah. So similarly on the upside, if the previous high is uh, uh, not broken and uh, you see a reversal sign, that is the double top formation, right? And we'll exactly see where that happens in terms of Fibonacci ratios. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll get to some examples based on Fibonacci retracement. So, right? We'll just see the uh, retracement depth in some of the charts from the past. Okay. So, so this is our uh, Bank Nifty chart. This is a uh, chart representing Bank Nifty from the uh, month of February to April. This chart is in four hour time frame. I put four hour time time frame just because of the clarity needed in the candlesticks, right? I marked uh, two cases, the case one and case two. You see, around uh, Feb 10th, the up move started, right? And it proceeded. That is the uh, level uh, one here. That is uh, that part. We'll see how to draw these uh, things exactly uh, in trading view uh, shortly, right? Uh, the uh, there is an up move, and we have a reversal around 47,200. And how far the reversal has come? If you see, it is around 0.618 level. Okay, it has taken almost a month, uh, like uh, uh, Feb 8 to Feb 20. There the impulse wave has uh, proceeded, and then we have a reversal, and the reversal uh, stopped uh, or ended around the uh, March session, and the reversal was around 0.618. The second case is that. Uh, from March 19th, the next impulse. See, if you see, this is your Elliott wave. One, two, three, four. Then there is a sequence of waves. There is a higher highs happening and a lower highs happening, right? And uh, if you see the case two, it started from 19th March and it went to 49,200 zone and then it corrected. It corrected till around 0.618 levels, right? So without without doing anything. If we can find the swing highs and swing lows and plot FIB retracements, we'll be able to identify potential uh, retracement depths and we'll be able to uh, pick at least uh, uh, close to a bottom where you can see the trend change. This is your uh, uh, bullish FIB retracement. There is an impulse wave and a corrective wave uh, taking the prices down and the next impulse wave starts. Okay. So if you see that after uh, May, right, uh, Bank Nifty tried to go higher, 49, it went to 49,900 and then started coming down, right? That is not shown in this chart. So the second example is a FIB retracement on a bearish scenario. So this is the Bajaj Finance daily uh, chart, right? There was this uh, down move from October last year and the down move proceeded till December and there was a retracement. If you see the corrective wave on the uh, upside stopped around 0.5 to 0.618 zone. So it did not uh, cross there. See, the important point to note is these are not exact levels. 0.618 or 0.5 does not uh, give you the exact uh, price point, right? It is a zone. You will have to identify potential reversal patterns around this zone. And upon confirmation, you, you can uh, take your uh, entries. And you should follow your own uh, any other methodologies. These uh, FIB retracements give you exact, uh, uh, I mean, uh, zones around where the potential reversals can happen, right? Here you see 
uh, around 0.618 and 0.5, you see a lot of pink candles. There is a lot of rejections around this area and the next uh, down move starts. Note that we are just talking about retracement. There was a fall, there was a, uh, a reversal, correction happening. I mean, there was an impulse fall and a corrective wave that took the prices higher and then a rejection again. Okay. So the beauty of this uh, retracement is that you can apply this to any stock on any time frame. What we saw previously was Bank Nifty on a uh, almost a daily time frame and we saw uh, Bajaj Finance on a daily time frame. Now we are trying to see it in a uh, intraday time frame. This is Nifty, April 25, intraday. This is a three minute chart. Okay. So if you see the price uh, was bottoming out around 11 p.m. and there was a impulse move upside. Right. And uh, around 20 to 450, the prices started correcting. So how far did it correct? It corrected till the 0.5 and 2.618 zone, which is around 22, 375 zone, right? And it stayed while, stayed there for a while, and then it moved up. And again, around uh, 2 p.m., it made a bottom, right? It is around uh, uh, 22, 500. And again, it moved up, right? It hit 22, 625, and then it pulled back. See around, uh, the amount of retracement is around 0 0.5 to 0 0.618 zone. Okay. We are just seeing uh, retracements here. We are not trying to pick up projections here. We are trying to see retracement. There is a impulse of up move and there is a rejection from some point and how far, how deep the rejection comes. This is your low risk entry points. If you are uh, looking for a bullish trade, right, you miss your initial move. And if you are looking uh, for a bullish entry, your uh, retracement level around 0 0.5 to 0.618 is an ideal uh, level to re-enter uh, or find a fresh entry in your long trade, right? If you took the case one, if you missed the up move on a pullback around 1 p.m., you could have entered here and could have rode the full uh, full uh, move, full leg, right? So this is your intraday chart on Nifty. This is specifically on April 25. We'll see a... Uh, okay another example so this is bank nifty on april 26 intraday five minutes so intraday uh, started higher and it started uh, drifting lower right so and the price formed a double bottom around 11 pm okay this was around 48 350 levels and price started moving up how uh, higher did the price move it moved till max of 0.5 right 0.5 to 0.618 if you see, it took resistance at 0.236, it took resistance at 0.382, it took resistance at 0.5. Each and every Fibonacci levels it respects. But you'll have to wait for your uh, uh, good confirmation, right? You can uh, very well assume that prices will uh, come to 0 0.5, 0 0.618 in the intraday scenario, right? For intraday, you can expect the prices to retrace up to 0 0.5 at least. 0.68 will be a pretty deep retracement and uh, based on your uh, uh, other factors, right? Any other systems that you follow, you can find your entries around these zones for a uh, next uh, next leg of fall. See, after the retracement, the fall was like uh, vertical. See, you, fall, you fell from 48,500 to 48,280. So it's like uh, that three and almost uh, 250, 300 points in a matter of uh, 30 to 40 minutes. So, you, you, first thing, how do you trade this, right? You establish your uh, uh, major trend. The major trend for the day is bearish. You have a bearish uh, impulse wave. The impulse wave will lead to a corrective wave. And how deep the corrective wave go is defined. Your, it it can, can be identified using your Fibonacci levels. And once these levels reach, you will have a low risk entry here. Your stop loss at this point of entry will be very minimal. All right. So, this is just about the Fibonacci retracements. A any questions on this? Um, um, the thing is, uh, are you using Elliott Wave in it or you are just uh, just looking at no, the impulsive and the correct? We are not using any Elliott Wave. Here. We are just, you are just, uh, you are just talking, talking about, about the simple uptrend and uh, you are just using it in an uptrend and in, an, in a downtrend to understand that the market is stopping and where it can go. So you are not taking Correct. into consideration that we are in which wave we are in, 
बड़े सिनेरियो में कहां पे है नो नो टू टाइम फ्रेम एनालिसिस जस्ट प्लेन वी आर टेकिंग द ट्रेंड ऑफ द डे एंड देन वी आर ट्रेडिंग बेस्ड अपॉन दैट कि अगर इफ वी हैव अ डाउन ट्रेंड वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ रिवर्सल अराउंड द करेक्टिव पॉइंट ऑफ 0.381 और 618 एंड इफ वी आर इन बुलिश देन आल्सो वी एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट टू गिव इट अ वेरी लो रिस्क एंट्री पॉइंट करेक्ट okay so we, this is your uh, trading view uh, window can you see that yeah okay so the, so if i click the third uh, icon in the tools menu right you get fib retracement trend based fib extension these are the two tool, two tools that we are talking about the first we will see fib retracement okay so i'll explain you how to draw this and how to uh, modify the settings also right and i'll explain you okay. the settings right so initially we'll actually we'll draw a small uh, uptrend wave okay let's say this is your uh, uh, wave right what we are trying to do is identify the fib retracement levels right so we'll take the lowest point and plot a uh fib retracement to right this is the fib retracement to the first first icon fib retracement we'll take this and we'll plot we'll click on the lowest point and extend it to the highest point okay so this will give you some numbers i will go to the settings right first of all uh, i don't use background so if you want background it will give you uh, level, uh, zones in different colors i'll mute the backgrounds and next thing is see here if you see i'll increase the font size also first for clarity i've increased the number uh, sizes right and if you see it shows prices if you have prices it will show you the prices right if you mute that prices will not go and the levels here you can represent it in ratios 0.236 0.382 or you can represent represent this in percentages 22 23.6 32.8 so people use different terminologies as they are comfortable with and we'll just use levels and uh, uh, you can adjust the labels to the left right or center as per your wish we'll keep it uh, to the right because the prices uh, are moving towards the right right so it will be easier to visualize and uh, the next thing is the levels right the important levels by default these are the levels that uh, this table has the important level that we should be aware of 0.236 0.382 0.5 0.618 one for retracements okay one is your starting point and zero is your uh, ending point one is your swing low zero is your swing high okay so okay. so this is about it right you uh, start from the swing low and end it in this swing high and you get your fib retracement very simple and if you see your zone of interest should be around around this area for a entry this is your zone of interest for your next leg entry okay the same holds for uh, the same holds for your downtrend downtrend is like will mark it in red right you click your fib retracement start from a swing high for a down trend you start with the high and end with the low and we'll see the, this in the actual chart i'm just uh, uh, showing how to uh, how to configure the settings and plot the values so your zone of interest is the 0.5 zone okay any any questions on how to uh, configure no. the tool and no. uh, uh, select the tool and use it, it. so i think it get it so what we are seeing is just one leg of it right yeah okay what we are seeing is just one leg one impulse wave and one corrective wave we are not talking about waves here so if you do this repetitively on your swing highs and swing lows right that becomes your uh, elliot 1 2 3 4 5 abc right each each waves retracement can be calculated and there is a fixed set of rules that's what elliot wave gives you so what we will do will uh, i have so we just will take uh, uh the bank nifty so this will go to a uh, hourly time this is your impulse wave okay and this is your corrective wave 
got it okay, okay. so so the usual problem that people have is how to, how to identify swing highs and swing lows uh, for that we have a indicator called zigzag okay in trading view if you search for zigzag you will get that and if you enable that it will plot you the swing highs and swing lows you need not worry about finding these also right and you have a swing high and it, this is configurable and you can change the depth and all that that's not uh, important right now but you then get the, a, a identification of your swing high but problem with the zigzag indicator is that you need to have some threshold on the percentage of fall and percentage of rise to to be able to tell that what is a swing high and what is a swing low so what is it that you prefer for intraday and for the hourly wagera charts so that that's very subjective okay? based on your experience and chart yeah, view yeah yeah i know it's subjective that is why that, i have asked because at one at one point of time yeah, i, I thought of using this okay this is for mm, yeah. okay because at one point of time time i thought about you know incorporating zigzag indicator but then this subjective part was coming to my mind also that how much uh, percentage i should give it you know because that is yeah. going to be different for different charts yeah. okay anyway so let's move I, I, yeah i prefer to use the candlestick reversals and uh, uh, use that i don't use zigzag and uh, over time it becomes natural you will be able to easily identify swing highs and swing lows okay um, so we know that this is your low right and we start here and end at the swing high okay okay and we go to the here and and uh, we'll make it single color for ease of uh, understanding and uh, we'll extend the lines to the right okay so that we have a yeah. clear becomes better uh, idea of the yeah it Price. becomes better so if you see this is the impulse move and we have a corrective okay if you see it stopped at 0.236 initially right and then it break broke so you can simply view it as a support and resistance level it took support at 0.236 and bounce back it breaks a 0.236 and this 0.236 now becomes a resistance and it comes down it breaks 0.382 and uh, this is a two hour chart if you go into uh, find the details right you will see it took uh, some support here on a lower time frame and it breaks and eventually it has reached 0.68 618 here if you are uh, shorting the market at higher right you can easily write this wave write this uh, trend if you are shorting like uh, 50000 uh, calls you should have been easily able to make tons of money in this group, right this is a no brainer trade if you understand uh, that there is a rejection from the top and uh, Uh, it has come down a bit, right? And around this point, right, we see a, a consolidation. Maybe it more if the market uh, uh, goes higher and uh, breaks forty to forty eight two hundred, it can form a reversal pattern and it can go higher. So this is a perfect point for identifying a reversal pattern and the start of the next impulse leg. So this is a simple use of your Fibonacci retracement. But yeah, I think you are. Uh, I the thing is, the corrective wave you can. The thing is, uh, in hindsight, it is easy hmm. for us to tell that we can, you know, sell calls at fifty thousand price point. Okay, but how do you, uh, how do we exactly take it? Like, ki, okay, that fifty thousand point, that pin bar up yeah. there. So what I'm saying is that. Uh, Uh, how do we know that that fifty thousand point is a shorting point? Means I I understand that forty eight four hundred is the point where we might be looking for a buy trade, or we might be looking that okay this might not be a retracement and price might be headed toward forty six eight hundred. ठीक है ना? But how do you come to that decision? कि fifty thousand के ऊपर I have to sell calls. Okay, so we'll I I have I will come to that after the few extensions part. Okay, I'll okay. show you how. Uh, you can identify in your option chart using these things very clearly. I have the charts okay. uh, drawn also. So uh, is this clear? Uh, Fifth yeah. investment. We'll come back to your question a bit later. Okay. So this is your higher time frame view, right? This is your two two hour view. I'll delete that. So we'll you can apply these uh, Fibonacci retracements to any any swing high, swing swing low points, right? You you can take this swing low. This is one low in a lower time frame like thirty minutes, right? And draw a retracement. 
so you you saw a uh, up move and there was a retracement so you see the retracement was around 0.618 level okay so if you do this repeatedly that forms your uh, uh, elliot wave if you can subdivide your uh, impulse wave into multiple small waves right this is what you will see we saw it in a higher time frame where uh, a big impulse wave and one corrective wave but if you go into a time frame each impulse wave will have a corrective wave in the lower time frame and you will be able to see the same uh, 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 application of Fibonacci retracement. So what we saw was a full impulsive wave and a corrective wave, right? Here in this small uh, uh, small part of the wave, right, we can see the same behavior. And this can be further extended into a very small time frame also. So what we saw was a, a bullish uh, impulsive wave, right? This is an example of a bearish impulsive wave, right? You take the swing high here and take the swing low. See, there was this fall and the retracement came till your 0 0.5, 0 0.618 zone. This is today's market, okay? If you if we have uh, seen this, we could have shorted around uh, 135, right? right? Okay. So, so we are just taking one part of the leg and we are trying to identify your potential reversal zones based on Fibonacci retracement. We saw both uh, uh, bullish and uh, bearish examples. Okay. Okay. So, so I hope it's clear how we draw this Fibonacci retracements and uh, how uh, we apply it on the uh, charts using swing high and swing lows. So ideally, right, the 0.5 and 0.618 zones are uh, good entry zones for your continuation of your primary trend. So that ends the topic of Feb retracement. We'll now go to the slides and uh, start with the extension. So Feb retracement identify potential uh, support and resistances based on the uptrend or the downtrend. So now we'll get into the Fibonacci extensions. Fibonacci extensions will help you identify the projection of price targets. Once the impulse wave has ended and the corrective waves come, the next impulse wave, how far the next impulse wave will go, that can be identified using your uh, price projection with Fibonacci extensions. Right? So identifying trend continuation. So the primary Fib levels that we used were like 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 and 0 0.618. Right? Those are less than one. Less than one we use for retracements. Greater than one we use for projection like 1, 1 1.272, 1 uh, uh, 1.414, 1.618. And it can go till 2.618, 3.618. It can get extended, right? And these are your extended uh, Fibonacci ratios. And these are potential price targets. Um, okay. Price projection tool. So Fibonacci extensions will help you identify the profit targets where your momentum will take you on your next impulse. Okay. So we'll so uh, uh, we'll yeah. see we'll see how how this works. So this is your uptrend, and you have a impulse. I, I'm showing you a, a small chart. Uh, the blue line is your uptrend, and there is this impulse wave. It gets rejected from your uh, uh, from a point, and it comes back, right? And we'll see how to draw this Fibonacci extension. Just uh, understand the uh, numbers right now. And we have an impulse wave and a corrective wave. And the corrective wave uh, has formed a reversal pattern. And this green line represents your uh, start of the next impulse wave. And it is go going higher. Okay. And if you see, if you plot, you will understand that uh, the previous top, which will come around 0 0.5, 0 0.618. So. And the price projection will give you levels still 100, 1.618 based on our, uh, our settings. And it can take the price uh, higher, the next impulse wave. So how far the prices will go higher can be identified use, using your uh, Fibonacci extensions. The valid values are, first we'll have to move past the 0.5 and 0.618 zones. Because these levels are again important because this is the area where the prices could re get rejected and a double top formation could happen. And if this price uh, gets bro broken, the next stop will be around the 100%. 100% means it is equal to the length of your first impulse wave. 
the second okay. impulse will be almost be equal to the length of the first and if the, if the script is super bullish it can go uh, go higher above 100 and the next stop is usually 1.618 and after that there will be two 2.618 and it will can go further we'll see it in the uh, settings and charts okay so okay. the important okay. thing to understand here is the 0.5 and 0 0.68 uh, 618 zones because this is the area where a double top formation can happen if the double top uh, does not happen and the price breaks we are going much higher and how okay. far we can identify using a projection okay so so the same applies on the downtrend okay there okay. is this impulse downtrend wave there is a corrective wave and you have your 0 0.5 and 0 0.68 around your previous loop if this uh, resist you will have a w formation and the prices will move higher okay if the uh, prices break around the point five, you have a uh, impending fall that will take the prices much lower and how far it can go we'll identify using our uh, fibonacci extensions the valid levels are uh, 1 1.13 1 1.272 1.414 and 1.618 uh, we'll see that in the trading okay uh, here i have some examples from uh, uh, the past charts how the prices have behaved and we have uh, used the fibonacci extension tools to uh, identify or plot them right so this is bharti airtel jan to may okay uh, jan 2024 uh, to may right and there was this nice rally from uh, around 980 levels to 1180 levels and then there was this correction you can plot the fib retracement tool and see how far the how deep the correction had gone here and it, it had uh, taken support around the 1050 row the uh, the green line indicates the fib retracement it, it is around 0.382 indicating that this trend is super bullish it has not uh, come below 0.382 did not come to 0.5 on a fib retracement and it is super bullish and you are looking for a good entry point here once you have a we're also getting a double bottom there yeah. yeah double bottom there yeah double bottom triple bottom there right around the march uh, you you get an entry here and the prices started moving higher so around the 0.5 and 0 0.6 the prices stalled okay so this is your first target once once the price moves higher your first target is around the 0 0.5 to 0 uh, 0 0.6 only. i have marked here in percents as i shown the earlier and once this broke breaks right it all the way went to the 100 percent this is a very nice uh, example, example of your price projection and this is the uh, uh, bearish scenario on the budget finance we saw a fib retracement on this uh, uh, budget finance earlier now we see how the prices get projected right here we saw the impulse wave coming down the corrective wave the second impulse right we saw a rejection here the second impulse started around the 0.5 to 0.68 the prices stalled there was a reversal also right so if you are shorting your first target is around the 0.5 to 0.61 and if this breaks you get into your 100 zone or the one zone and you can plot further this is your second target right you can book profits here you can you will have further tar targets like 1.13 1.27 we'll see that further further down right so here you see that around 0.5 there is a uh, stop where there is a potential reversal if the prices had uh, moved past uh, 7300 all that but it did not it, the next day it opened gap down and uh, started falling further so this way you can uh, stick with your trade in terms of uh, if you have your own methods like moving averages or bowling bands until they give a signal you can write the trend and you know the targets with your uh, fibonacci projections but hurry tell me one thing uh -oh. The biggest problem after taking a trade is that uh, we expect that the market will go um, from 1 to 10 to 20 to 30 to 40. But what happens in Fibonacci retracements and uh, this Elliott wave is that it goes from 1 to 10, then comes down to 5, and then goes down to maybe 7, then 12, then it might come down to 9 again and then move on to 15 and 16. That negative part doesn't that get a little uh, psychologically difficult to endure that thing 
yes because every I time every time you are into every time you are into a fear mode and now you know a, a severe fall may come and you know all the profits are wiped out yeah so it depends on the time frame that you are working with right you have to be confident with your time frame right the second thing is that you should have multiple uh, time frame views you should know at the higher time frame uh, you cannot go beyond a level right and you should be able to patiently wait for the best entry that's the only way to avoid uh, this fear you should not, if you are going to uh, enter early right you should be ready to average because uh, you entered uh, that's where the position sizing and all risk management comes into play there is no second thoughts about it right uh, okay. there is always this fomo of uh, missing a rally right but then again uh, if you enter you are in a wrong trade su suddenly so that's why you'll have to have all these uh, uh, risk management practices position sizing and all that uh, there is no two ways about it that's how uh, i feel okay. okay so we'll continue on this so uh, as we saw in fibnacci uh, retracement right fibnacci extensions can be applied to a intraday uh, scenario as well so this is the bank nifty chart on 26th april so the 26th april markets open higher around 48700 and it started coming down on the, at around 11 pm it reversed if we plot fibnacci retracement it will be around 0.5 zone and we are getting a, a price stall and a reversal pattern formation right now we uh, plot our fibnacci uh, projection tool right and we can identify our potential target so the first target is around the 0 0.5 0 0.618 zone actually the correction was a bit deep here it went till 0 0.786 and then it uh, did not go past 0 5 and it came all the way to 101 okay we'll see more examples uh, in the live in the charts in trading so this is a uh, uh, nifty nifty chart a three minute chart so there was this uh, this chart we saw earlier also right so there was this uh, up move from 12 pm and there was a correction right and after that uh, market picked up momentum so we are trying to project how far it can go so prices uh, uh, started moving higher and it it was so bullish that it hit 100 immediately right immediately in like uh, 20 minutes and then it corrected a bit and then it continued it went till 1.618 and it went till 2 also i'll show you that in the chart so uh, this is the projection and uh, if you see it stalled around the one level it stalled around two and it once it breaks it moves to the next level and after that there was a double top formation and the uh, prices started coming down okay so, so we'll, we'll see how to draw fibnacci retracement fibnacci extension tool in uh, in i think let's charts. directly do that on the charts itself no? the second icon is your fib retracement right so here you take your swing low and swing high and then do your third hmm. point it needs three points your uh, end of the corrective so these three points, the projection tools request three points. Your first point is your swing low T wave. After that, you get the projection, right? As we saw in the uh, retracement, you will have the same set of uh, values here. The important point to uh, note are 0 0.5, 0 0.618. That's your double top, double bottom formation level. One is your uh, length of the impulse wave, 1.618, and then two we'll have two also we'll have this level and uh, we'll have a, a single color so this is your uh, projection tool so again to reiterate this right we have three points here a swing low a swing high and a retracement point the corrective point right so now we'll directly go to the charts so again we'll take uh, uh, bank nifty now we have a, a top here and a correction right this is your first swing swing low right and then you have a retracement a retracement point so we have a impulse wave and a corrective wave and then we are projecting if you see after the projection right the first first target it hit was the 100 point and the 50 618 uh, played as your resistance this is your previous uh, low right and uh, it it did not cross beyond that point right 
and then the down move started how far did the down move go it uh, breaks the uh, one again and it went to 1.618 2 and it, it went all the way till 2.618 you can plot uh, there there are values right you can uh, uh, plot like uh, 2.272 these are extensions and extensions of extensions right fibonacci has fibonacci values extensions and extensions of extensions so we, we uh, you can once you are very familiar with the basic numbers you can try advanced numbers we will just concentrate on 0 0.5 6, 0 0.618 and then 1.618 and 2 right this is your multi day trade if i can put that right and uh, I have more examples uh, marked here. Any any questions on this projection? Right. So we can do that on the uptrend also. So we have a nice uptrend here, right? So this is your swing low, and this is your swing high, and this is your uh, end of the corrective wave. So around the 0 0.5, 6.18, we got a rejection, but the price continued. Price hit one, and there was a small pause and it hit 1.618 and there was a small correction and then it went all the way up to 2 and there we see a evening star formation around the 2 zone and then the price started coming back right okay so this is your price projection on the upper side for the bullish view so the interesting part is that we can use these tools on your option charts directly as well and uh, it works nicely. Of, of course, the lower time frames are going to be very noisy, and uh, with higher uh, time frame, uh, right, you can easily uh, circumvent all this. So, uh, for example, right, I have uh, uh, taken uh, these two calls today. So, uh, to answer your fifty thousand call question, right, we'll see it with forty thousand for you today, right? This is your fifty minute chart. Okay happened already right there is a trend line. we'll mark it right we'll forget this so uh, we are uh, starting the week around uh, may 2nd right from the chart we know that there was a fall and we'll take the swing hike mark the low right or there is a low here and uh, draw the projection right see here around 0 0.6 0 0.5 0 0.618 there was a stall and then it went till one and then it got rejected around this zone right and then it came all the way down so specifically today we'll see about today we know that the uh, uh, option is heading downwards right and we know from the projection that the levels one is here 1.618 here is here the 138 is the uh, price that it closed around yesterday 1.618 today on open Right, today's open was around see, 88 levels. Right, this is 48500, and your immediate stop loss is around this level 138. Right, you can easily sell this for the day and easily take all the money. This is like free money, too. 80 rupees you can sell at the start of the day, and your stop loss is around 140 138. Immediately on the day open, if you had taken a position and uh, have the stop loss around the day height, which is around 90, that should be a good trade, right? If you just wait for uh, six, seven hours, you can pocket the entire uh, 80 rupees. This is for intraday today. But if you are a positional trader, if you are into selling, right? Now you have a, a understanding of Fibonacci projection, and you know that there is this uh, formation of a uh, uh, impulse wave and a corrective wave and you have got a rejection right if you had sold 50,000 which is much uh, lower in price right uh, at that point this is 48,500 which was deep in the money when the correction started so that could have been much easier you get the uh, idea right so okay. this is how you can yeah. plot it on the option chart specifically uh, this is for your seller if you are an option seller how do you uh, hold your position right the important this thing to sense. notice if you are if you are in a selling mode your best point of entry is around your previous uh, 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 support or resistance zone right here you have a resistance zone which is around your 0 0.5 to 0 0.618 zone this is where you should face your entry right because your stop loss at this point will be very very minimal 
right? Because you will get nice reversal patterns and uh, you can uh, wait for your prices and enter. You need not wait, uh, enter in a full. We'll see the same uh, same observation, but in the P. See, if you see C, right? It has corrected all the way from 1200 to zero. This is 1200 points. At least if you uh, started, uh, uh, let's uh, hypothetically saying we saw this pattern and uh, took a short position at 1000, right? We are pocketing 1000 points by selling. But if you are a buyer, you know that the market is going to fall below 48500. But you are not gaining more than 700 points, even if you have captured the entire rally. That's the difference between being a seller and a buyer, right? If you know the perfect uh, trend also, if you are a seller, you can capitalize much more. But if you are a buyer, the amount of uh, uh, MTM swings, as you said, right, with the Elliott wave and all that, it is very difficult to sit in a trade if you are a buyer. But if you are a seller, you can actually sit in a, a long standing trade because you know the exact levels also. But here, if you don't uh, face your entry perfectly, uh, you, you will be seeing a lot of wild swings. And that's why by being buyer. Okay. So this is your 48,500 P. We are not going to see projections. We will see retracement. So this was the initial up move. This was from uh, day before yesterday. This is your swing low and this is your swing high. See, the prices went higher, but it corrected till 0 0.618 level, 211, right? This you can easily mm -hmm. plot in your charts. Uh, you, this is not something uh, you can, you just have to practice uh, for a couple of days and it will be easy. You will have to see the chart and uh, plot it, right? And we are using 15 minute charts here. So we are seeing a, a reversal pattern with uh, pin bars around the 0 0.618 level. If you are a buyer, this is your low risk entry point. You'll have to wait for this level. If you bought around uh, 210 levels, right, it went all the way to 700 in a day. Of course, you'll have to be very confident. You should be uh, con you should have conviction with your trade and all that. But this is a very low risk entry point. Get that idea, right? So okay. and again, right, this is your high. We'll, uh, this is your uh, first case, right? And we'll see this part of it. This is your swing low and this is your swing high. The second correction also uh, stopped around 0 0.5, 0 0.618. If you see, uh, stopped initially around 0 0.382 and then it breaks and it comes all the way to 0 0.618 and then it bounces. So this is a 15 minute chart. You can go to five minute chart and uh, see. The, if you are a scalper, right? If you know all these levels, you can do some quick scalp. So based on what you are doing, if you are a seller, you, if you are an intraday player, if you are a scalper, if you are a positional seller, based on that, you will have to choose your time frame and choose your trade duration accordingly. And of course, you will have to have all your risk management position sizing uh, to perfection to capture these things. The FIB levels will give you a low risk entry points. Understanding of these will help you, uh, help you uh, Wait for the right levels to enter in case if you are a buyer. In case if you are a seller, you can uh, face your trades uh, based on the retracement levels and zones and you can average uh, if the prices move higher. Knowing that you are in the primary downtrend or the uptrend. If you, the important thing to note is that if you see, we are drawing the fifth retracement in a 15 minute time frame and the candles are perfectly aligning with these levels, right? Because there is no candle closing below each of these fib levels but if you go to a lower time frame it will just be missing it will not work for a lower time frame you'll have to draw a retracement with that uh, uh, time frame zones then only it will be very accurate otherwise you will see a few retracements are not working so if you are drawing in some uh, time frame analyze or uh, take trades according to that time frame so that's the main thing right if you uh, if you are trading in 15 minutes and if you if you are going to react to swings in five minutes or two minutes, it will not. Uh, it will be very uh, difficult to manage your uh, MTM swings. So this is one example, okay. and uh, I'll show you one trade that I took today. Uh, I took uh, 48,000 48, P. So I used uh, the projection tool here. So projection tool can also be used to identify. Projection tool can also be ident uh, be used to identify potential uh, uh, targets 
on a double bottom or a double top formation right i have taken these two points the first point is the swing low and uh, uh, impulse high and then the second low here yeah, right if you see my uh, low is around 27 and the price has started moving higher uh, this is 7th may right today is 8th may so we opened around uh, here 915 right uh, 915 we opened here right and my 0.618 0.5 for this uh, 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 projection that i had drawn is around this level which is around 80 to 95 right i was positioning my buy entry here around these times on 950 i bought uh, here i saw, uh, saw uh, price move up here and i took position here and uh, my target was around 1.618 this is a scalp trade and knowing these levels you can uh, based on other factors as well right you can uh, position a uh, quick scalp and nowadays right you see lots of uh, uh, spikes and uh, what they call injection moves and essentially these things move come from around your 0.5 to 0.618 fib levels in your uh, uh, option charts on that particular uh, option strike if you see if you have if you plot the fib retracements correctly you should be able to find this and here your stop loss will be very very minimal you know that uh, you will have a 10 point stop loss your 0.5 is your stop loss and if the price crosses 0.618 you can try to uh, take a momentum for a target around first target is around 1 Second target is around 1.618. So today being a sideways day, uh, it was just very choppy. So if it was a trending day, you could have uh, uh, had a nice price action, and you could easily trail your uh, uh, option and uh, go all the way up. Okay. So that's about it. Any any questions for me on this? So the next set of slides are the same that we talked about. You can apply these uh, okay. directly on the charts as well, and. Uh, uh this comes by practice okay so it's not that you can yeah so a1 and what you have done is you have basically it. for the people who don't know about it um, me and shri hari we are recording this session for the second time i specifically requested uh, shri hari that uh, simplify this session for us and he has done it perfectly this time and uh, because ultimately uh, the idea is that the people who are watching it they should be you know able to have some take away from the system that okay i can go with this in market and at least if i'm not getting instantly profitable i can reduce my losses and start working in a process so thanks a lot for this session shri hari okay i'll see what kind of uh, feedback we get for this and if we get some comments around it you come around and answer those yourself okay yeah thank you thank you very much for providing this opportunity and uh, i really appreciate uh, collaborating thanks a lot bye bye